Everlasting Lip Liners. Oh my god, I love this formula so much. I was so excited when creating this product. I basically wanted to create a rainbow of amazing lip liners that haven't been created before. And again, to me, I think when, whenever it comes to developing any product, I really want to push the envelope as far as formulation goes. When I thought about lip liners, I thought about what are the things that I could only dream about when it comes to the formula. I love the ability to put on a lip look in the morning and not worry about it throughout the entire day, not having to touch it up. And so that was first and foremost. Uh, the second thing, of course, I want high pigment. I want these you know, amazing, vibrant colors. So today I thought it would be cool to show you guys uh, a little tip and some tricks as to how I achieve um, some lip corrections because you know my lips are super crooked, and just like a lot of people's are, and also how to add uh, the optical illusion of giving your lips more depth and being able to highlight them using some of the shades. So the two shades that I wanted to go with today are Lolita and Kevy. Everybody loves Lolita, of course, so I thought that would be cool to create a look using Lolita, but uh, Kevy is a really great complementary color to this and will really help achieve this more neutral look. Lolita is, for those of you who don't know, is a beautiful dusty mauve. I mean, this is a, a shade that just looks good on every single skin tone. Kevy is this nice pinky nude. You could wear Kevy by itself and you know really achieve that nice twiggy look. For the sake of this little mini tutorial that I'm doing, I just want to show you how to combine different shades to create more depth and volume. So for the first step, I'm going to use Lolita. This is basically going to lay out the overall shape that I want to achieve. I think the cool thing with lip liner is that you know you could really manipulate the shape of your lip if you want to. You can use this to make your lips appear to be bigger or to add dimension. So you do have a little bit of room to play with it if you want to blend it out. But um, usually around like three to five seconds afterwards, it dries and it's just not moving anywhere. So if you do want to do a lot of these like fading techniques, you're going to want to make sure to do it quite quickly after you apply it. So now that I have my outline done, I'm going to just fill in the corners of my lips and this is going to be to create a lot more depth and dimension before we start doing the highlighting. It'll be a really nice, easy blend and, and beautiful transition. Alright, so let's move on to highlighting. For the highlighting, I chose to use the shade Kevy and I love this shade so much, I actually named it after a really dear friend of mine, um, Kevy. And this shade in particular is a really nice complement to Lolita because it does have those warm undertones. So um, it'll be a, a really nice, easy blend and, and beautiful transition. The places that I want to highlight are gonna be in this area here. I wanna bring a lot more dimension to my bottom lip. So I'm going to focus putting the highlight in this area. For my upper lip, I'm gonna do the same thing a little bit under my Cupid's bow and then just blend it out. Because there is a quick dry down time on this formula, I'm going to do one part of the lip at a time so that I can blend it easily. Already you can see the dimension that it's bringing and uh, you know, really giving a lot of volume that I don't naturally have. Cool, and there you have it.